Centoya Brown was just 16 when she was forced into sex trafficking before killing a client and being sent to prison. Her story resonated with people around the world, and after 15 years behind bars, she was granted clemency. Now Linda Kincaid sits down with Brown to hear her story, which she's turned into a book, Free Centoya. After 15 years behind bars, you're free. Yeah. How do you feel? I mean, it's good. You know, it's a blessing. It's literally a miracle. Sintoya Brown Long has spent half her life behind bars. At just 16, she was forced by her abusive boyfriend into sex work. One night, she shot and killed a 43 year old man who had bought her for sex. She claimed it was self defense, but prosecutors argued it was opportunistic after she fled with his wallet and two guns. She was tried as an adult and sentenced to life in prison for murder and robbery. You would have been close to 70 by the time you got any chance of release. How do you deal with that at the age of 16? So in the state of Tennessee, I had an opportunity for parole, but it wasn't a meaningful opportunity. It was after 51 years I could be considered for release. And as I said, the prospect of that was just I mean, it was unbearable. I couldn't imagine. From activists to lawmakers to celebrities, people of all walks of life called for justice. Before all of the, the outcry had happened, my attorneys had already been meeting with the governor's office and trying to talk about clemency, which clemency, less than 1% of applications are even reviewed by the parole board in the state of Tennessee. So to say it was slim to none, chance of me ever receiving any kind of relief through clemency that I mean that that's an understatement. Singer Rihanna posted about her on Instagram asking did we somehow change the definition of justice along the way? Did you understand how much support there was for you on the outside? You know for me the biggest thing was seeing how many people across the world seeing teachers, doctors, you know, single parents saying, I don't know what to do. I don't know how I can help, but I want to do something. In the United States, all underage sex workers are defined by federal law as trafficking victims. And now she's helping others understand that. And, you know, so often we're told that there are just certain young girls who are fast, certain young girls who are promiscuous that, that ask for these things. And it's important for young girls to know that you cannot consent to your own exploitation. If you can't consent to a sexual relationship with an adult, then you can't consent to them taking advantage of you. There was another victim here, Johnny Allen, and his family feel like they're victims too. They lost someone. What's your message to them, given that they feel the justice system didn't work for them? I feel horrible about what happened. I feel horrible that they're still having to live with this. In a statement, they said our hearts are broken because we feel like Johnny never got to defend himself. We never got to be a voice for him. Sintoya Brown Long is not entirely free. The newly married 31 year old will still have to report to a parole officer for the next decade on top of holding down a job, performing community service and undergoing counseling. You know, from the time that they told me I'd do life in prison, I never believed it. I always thought that one day that I would be free, and I held on to that. So, You kept the faith. I did.